Hi. So my friend uh, suggested I make <clears throat> a small video about um, the upcoming beginners yoga retreat this Saturday. And I was really thinking about it. Um, my first response is always, no, I don't want to do that. But then when I really sat with it, I thought, when I teach, what, what do I, what is it that I want people to get? Um, and why do I love yoga so much? Why do I even want to share it? Why do I want to put myself out there and talk about it? Um, and the real reason is because when I was young, I had such a, a challenging time growing up and I was attracted to yoga. I didn't stick with it. I think I took a couple classes when I was in my late teens and, um, and then I ended up, I started really diving into it when I was about 24 years old, 23, 23 in New York City. And that was basically because I liked someone that was doing it. But as I moved to LA, I stayed with it. And what I noticed about it, and although it is physical movements, and you will be able to move more, you will get more strength, you will get more flexibility. I got all of those things. Um, it's not the real reason that I do yoga. I love teaching people that really listen, that are really interested, uh, that really want to understand their bodies. But the key for me about yoga is that union. It's about calming the nervous system down. And the doorway is through the body. So yes, people get stronger, they get more fit, um, you can do fun things with your body over time. But that's not as interesting to me as having more joy and more peace, really peace, having more peace of mind. So during those times that I was doing yoga, I was suffering so much mentally. Um, and still now, if I'm having a hard time, if I remember, oh, that was weird, if I remember, I will, um, I'll do hip openers. It, or I'll sit and I'll meditate or I'll bow. But f as far as yoga goes, I will do hip openers and that will calm my nerve system down. That will help me a great deal. Um, and sometimes the reason I say remember is because I'm imperfect as well. And sometimes I get so caught in my mind and I try to figure out the mind's problem with the mind, which makes no sense. So that's why bowing, all the blood going to the penile gland really helps a lot and physically doing yoga, going into my hip openers. Now, this is more advanced things to talk about, especially for people who have never done yoga before. I would like to offer and teach people who um, have a really hard time loving themselves because that's where I came from. And that's still sometimes what I struggle with, still. Um, people that don't believe that um, that their lives can get better because they can, that your life can absolutely get better. It's funny, like the car alarm is like tooting from the universe. Your lives can get better. My life got better. So the people that are suffering and that, that believe that they can't do it and they don't want to show up and, um, they don't want to pay for yoga. They don't want to, um, these are the things that I would think about. Like, I don't want to be seen. I don't want people to see me. And is this person trying to take something from me? I have much more paranoid point of view. Um, are they really trying to do something for me or are they trying to just get something? And, um, and that was, that was a challenge for me to get over, over the years to start trusting people that people actually want to help you. And if they charge money for something, that feels spiritual or for my well-being. Well, why is that? Well, the truth of the matter is that I'm in a human body, that we are all in a human body, and that we have to take care of our human bodies. If we didn't, we'd be able to do things without cost, or if you had an, a great amount of money, you, you wouldn't have to charge. But there's also something in it that I think is also incredibly important, the exchange. So, that's what I struggled with the most. I was like, no, you can't have my money. You can't have my money. I don't know why. Like, it's not that much money, but I would, unless I really trusted the person. I had to really, really trust the person. But I've had very bad experiences with people taking all my money. So I'm a little bit more extreme. But now I realize 
If you want to grow, if you want to learn something, there has to be an exchange. There just has to be because that's you showing up for you. I mean, forget about even the other person. The other person should get something back as well and they need to eat and they need to have a roof over their head. But also it's an energetic exchange as well. That's what I've learned. And um, is there anything else I want to share in this moment? I'm just trying to be more um, genuine and trying to come at this in a place that I can be as real as I possibly can be so I can touch as many people as I can. My ideal um, student would be someone that really wants to learn and someone that has been through a great amount of suffering that doesn't think that there is possibly a way out for them for that suffering, that doesn't feel like people understand that feels really alone um, and that's willing to take a chance, willing to try something new. It doesn't matter to me if, if the person is super mobile at all, especially for a beginner's class. This is all about connecting your breath and connecting deeper to yourself, like really, really deeper to yourself in a very calm way. Tears may come, they may not come especially for a beginner's class. I'm unsure. Depends on how deep we can go. But I will be there with you. I will be there with you. And we're doing it on Zoom, so I will see you. My eyes will be on, they will be upon you. And you will hear your name. That might cringe, might cause you to cringe. But I will call names out when I see something. And never to shame people. Only to support each other. Only to support and grow and correct where you may be off and you can go deeper in that pose, in that practice for yourself, not for me, but for yourself. Because the truth is the more that people connect to themselves and release their pain, it, I get to do that as well. I don't know why it works that way, but the more people go deeper into their practice when I get the chance to work with them, it frees me as well. I feel it. I literally feel your freedom and your joy. So it's something that we all create together, but we have to show up in order to do it. So with that, the beginner's class, it's for people who've never done yoga before. Never, and maybe never even thought about it. But the people that feel like um, they want to try something new and they're willing. And they might be going through really hard times emotionally and they want support and they want a doorway through. Those are the people that I want to teach. So if that's you and you're interested, it is on this Saturday. God, that's long. It's eight minutes. Um, this Saturday at 9 a.m. Pacific Standard Time. And it'll be on Zoom. So you can go to HudsonLike.com and sign up go under yoga and, uh, and it will give you everything you need. All right. And with that, uh, thanks so much for the people that listened and, uh, I hope you have a great day.